I hope I'm live. Let's see. Just give it a moment. Hello, Funky Jack and Sparkle Chicks. What's going on? Hello, we have people. Welcome to my page. Wait for you to pop on here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sandra. Welcome to Royal Funky Junk. Hello, Beverly. And welcome to the Summer Craftathon sponsored by Southern Crush. Big thank you to Melanie Ferguson for putting this all together. It has not been an amazing two day craftathon event. So, thank you, Melanie, for inviting me to be here. It's a total honor to be a part of your events. Hello, Pam. Welcome to my page. Hello, Dina. Hello, Paula. Hello, guys. Welcome, guys. Don't forget to sparkle the love here. Let's get this out to as many people as we can. Hello, peeps. How is everyone? Welcome for all my newbies. Today, we are in full-blown wedding mode here at Royal Funky Junk. My stepson is getting married here at our home next Saturday, less than a week away. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Shirley. So, we have been going crazy with wedding all things wedding. So today for my segment, hello chickadees. So for my segment here today, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how um, to make a wedding fancy wedding pen. Um, if you if you're having a wedding, I know a lot of you are having weddings in the upcoming future. Hello Delilah. Hello chicks. Hello Marge. I'm a little nervous. I always get nervous for Melanie's events because they're so much fun. Hello Dee Dee. Hello Janet. Okay, so. Um, you guys, don't forget, um, less than a week away, yes, up in the video description, I did post the link where you can go and watch all the other presenters. Two full days of presenting. It's been amazing. Yay! Hello, Judy. Hello. Thank you, Delilah. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful wedding pen, and then at the end, I'll show you a couple other ones that I have made, because I made, I'm going to have like maybe three or four of them. Hello, Misty and Lori. So what you're basically gonna need, I did try to find white Bic pens, but I only had blue that I could find at my local uh, Walmart. So, um, and Amazon did have white ones, but they weren't here in time. So any pen will do, just make sure it's not the clicky kind at the top. Thank you, Angela, yes, it's coming along. I'm so excited for next Saturday, praying that the rain stays away, so. And thank you guys for sparkling. Don't forget to sparkle. Thank you guys, thank you, Kim, hello, Denise. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pen, and what I got is just some like white satin type ribbon from the Hobby Lobby. Um, it's th five eighths uh, thick. Any kind would be would be good, but this is perfect for what I'm using it for. Um, don't know about y'all, but my allergy has been on fire um, this week. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot glue gun. Hello, Sherry, and I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna move you guys down just a little bit. Um, so you're just gonna take like a little dab right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay your ribbon down like right on top of that right there like so. But you want it to go up because we want to cover up the top of this blue. <laughs> yeah, I always get nervous when I'm doing events. It's like especially as it's so many peeps watching. It's such a big event. So now I'll relax in a second. It's really actually really nice here today, but I think the rain's coming later this week. So now I'm going to grab and do another little bit of glue on the other side and fold that over just so it's like that. And then you've got these like little pockets right here. Don't worry about those. I just try to like squish those down, get those glued down just a little bit, but we're just kind of, you're basically going to wrap this thing. I need my finger protector. You're just going to basically be wrapping the rest of your ribbon right over this. So you're going to take this and I just kind of fold it up over and it's, if you have carpal tunnel or anything like that, you're going to get a little bit of a, a tired hand. So I'm just kind of stretching that over. And then again, right towards the top, I'm gonna to use a little bit more glue because I really want that to be as nice and flat as it possibly can. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit more glue and then we can start wrapping it on downwards towards the pen. And again, you're just gonna cover that up and just keep stringing this along, pulling it really tight because you down here you will get a little bit of gappage but don't worry because we're going to cover that up and just kind of just keep twirling it around the pen making sure that your ribbon is nice and flat 
and just keep spinning that around. And then about a quarter of the way down, I'll, I'll load some more glue just so that it really sticks. But guys, these are super easy. You can do these in any colors. I'm doing white. The, the wedding colors here are white, blush, pink, um, like a nice pale green and um, gold. So we're just spinning this around. Just keep pulling it really tight. And again, see, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, we're all about the perfectly imperfect here at Royal Funky Junk. So, and if I miss your guys' comments, I promise I will go back and watch the replay. Um, and just keep adding glue every, you know, two or three down just so that it really stays. And this is super, super simple, but they make such a statement at the wedding, you know, when you're having your guest book filled out and it is, get, it's a little tough on your hands. I'm not going to lie because it's so small. So I'm just keeping wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. We're going to wrap this all the way down to the end of the pen. And I'm going to add in some more glue. All the way down. Do you guys hear my puppy in the background? Carly's got him outside. And this is where it gets a little wonky as you're going further and further down. It gets a little bit trickier to keep that tautness there. But just keep making your way down. Hello, Linda. You love watching. I know you guys, if you don't follow me now, you definitely want to if you have a wedding coming up. We have got so much spectacular wedding stuff going on. We have gone all out for this wedding. Our yard took on a huge transformation. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. So as I'm getting down here towards the bottom, again, I'm adding a little bit more glue. And I'm going to stop right here where I get to that darker blue on the pen. And again, just twisting and wrapping and then adding a little bit more glue and you will have like a little bit of a gapage there at the end but don't worry too much about that because we're going to go over this with of course some sparkle and some other fabulous pieces so you're not going to really see that and I'll show you what I did is my little trick of the trade so now I know I'm going to finish it there so I'm going to Cut that off. Cut my hand. So now, and I'm just gonna take some glue and really give that edge um, a really nice amount of glue and just kind of wrap that around. And then I'm just going to, you'll have like a little hole there. I'm just gonna take my glue, take your little finger protector and just kind of like work that around to get that to be as close to the pen as you can. Fold that down and you'll see in a minute where it's not really gonna matter, but any kind of little hole you have, just stick some glue down in there and just kind of keep twisting your finger around there to get that to close up. And then I'll show you how I cover up this blue because I didn't want to leave the blue on here visible so once I get that nice and wrapped around there at the end, now see if you had a white pen, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't have this. Good morning, Nelda. So you have your pen all wrapped. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to take an ostrich feather, just like this. I have white ones and pink ones. And you are going to glue this right up here towards the top. And I'm just going to press that down until it's glued, just like so. Just that little stem is all you're gonna need. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of extra ribbon. I have a short little piece here, and we're just gonna wrap over that ribbon. Hello, Arlene. Just to really give that, and actually what I should have done is just done this while I was wrapping my pen. Um, should have just gone over it, but it doesn't, you're not gonna see it because we're gonna have this all covered up. So I'm just gonna wrap over that stem right there just about two or three times. Give that some glue and then just cut that with my scissors and wrap that around there so that stays and you don't see the stem, but you're not gonna see it anyway because again, I'll show you the final product. Always dropping my glue gun, sisters. 
This is for the wedding, Barb. Yes, indeed it is. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm so stinking excited. Okay, so you got your stem all on there. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some liquid leaf. You get this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna take a really fine brush. And all I'm gonna do is take, and I'm just gonna put some gold down here on the bottom where you see all that, that blue. Um, just a little bit of this, and it'll cover up that blue and kind of blends it right in with um, the tip of the gold pen. And I think I need to mix my liquid gold. Seems like it's a little wonky. So again, you're just gonna cover up, there we go. Just it sat a little bit too long. You're just gonna cover that up, just the blue, not the actual ink part. You're gonna leave that out. So see how it just covers up that blue. Any blue that you see, just kind of go over it with a really small brush. And so you've got that out. So now you've got all set here. The next thing I wanna do is I have this like blingy, small rhinestone kind of like beading. And I'm gonna start at the back side of the pen and I'm just gonna add a little glue dot right there, a little dab of glue. And I'm going, oops, it went still away from me. It's falling down through my desk. So I'm gonna take the beginning of this and I'm just gonna add that right on there, like so. I've gotta get it to stay. It's a little tricky to work with, but once you get that on there, hold that there. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping this. Yeah, the gold works perfectly. I'm just gonna start wrapping this right around the pen, like so. Kind of in the same same thing i am going to add some glue every couple of lines just so it stays and then i'm just going to work this all the way around making sure you got to make sure that your crystals are are there are the right side up because sometimes these little tiny ones want to get twisted around so i'm just going to take these and go all the way down i'm going to give it another little dab of glue here just so it stays and then I'm going to take this all the way down to that right to where we left off with the satin ribbon so I'm going to hit it right here with some glue and then I'm going to kind of wrap it right around and I'm going to finish it off right there so it almost covers up that that seam of where we went from the white to the uh that darker blue on the bottom of the pen. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that down there. Don't burn your fingers, I'm prone to do that, as most crafters are. So see how I just finished that off right there at the bottom? So it just kind of melds that together. I'm so excited for the wedding too. Maddie is not in the wedding, but she will be there. So you have this, it's all set to go. It's blingy, everything is glued down there. So the next thing you wanna do, now this is where you can have fun. You can do just about anything. Um, you can do like these pretty pearls. We're gonna take these right up the vein of the feather. But for these, I'm gonna do these. These are just sticky crystals. I picked them up at Hobby Lobby. You can do, you don't have to do anything, but um, I like to give it a little bit of glam because this is gonna be a, a wedding, so. Thank you, Michelle, hello. So I'm just, I'm not using the black ones, I'm just using these crystal ones and they stick. They're actually really sticky. I don't have to use any glue. And when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure that your feather is out really straight. And I just start right here at the very top and I just press these onto the vein, follow, because some of these, they go straight, then I'll curve off. So you just wanna, you just kinda wanna go follow your, your lines on the, on the veining. And then you peel off another one. Yeah, these are fun. I'll show you guys at the end how many, I made like a couple other ones. So you're gonna meet right up to where you were and you wanna make sure that you're keeping your feathers, uh, that's why it's nice to get it laid out flat. So you're not picking up any feathers and getting them stuck underneath underneath your stickies. And it's okay if it's a little off, but see how that adds just some bling and some sparkle. Now I'm just going to keep going here. I got that all laid out flat. I'm just gonna grab another stick. But again, this is where you can get really creative and get like, you know, you can do wedding colors. You don't have to do clear crystals. You can do pearls. 
you can do pretty much anything that you want. So again here, and these, the shorter strips are perfect because they let you kind of move them with the way that the veining is going. Now I need a little bit more, but I'm gonna actually cut this because I don't want, I don't need as much as what's here, but I wanna take it all the way to the end. So I'm just gonna measure out, probably need like that many. A little diamond dust, yeah, I know, right? Can you believe I'm not using diamond dust? So see, that takes it right to the tip. So you have that, look at how stinking pretty it is. It's super sparkly. So now the best part, which is what I love. Hello, Judy, hi, Melinda. Um, and I will go back and read all your comments and get um, answer any questions you have. Um, you're gonna take one of these amazing brooches from my fave, totally, dan totally Dazzled. I am a brand ambassador for them and they are just amazing. So this is the Vintage Bling brooch. And all you do is pop off this little brooch piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it right here, add it right there. So basically what I do is I want to hit it with glue right here down the center. So I'm just going to dab some glue right there and down here at the bottom. And then I am going to lay that directly on top, like right in the center. So I'm going to press it there and there. Hold that down till it dries and wait till you see this. This is what makes the pen pop. I know no diamond does say it isn't so. It's true, I know. But hey, we're using other forms of bling here and that's what counts, right? All right, so guys, check this out. It's stunning. It makes you want to get married. I know it's like I'm living my dream of, of having the blinged out wedding. But look at that. Is that not stunning? And see how the glue or the gold just kind of dries up a little glue ball right there how that just kind of covers up that blue and guys it's kind of it's a little heavy because I have the bigger brooch on here but it's not heavy enough you can still write with it you can still write your name and so I have this one this one's definitely gonna be at my stepson's wedding next Saturday I'm so excited and that amazing like it just this is what makes the whole pen in my opinion it's just gorgeous so I have a couple of minutes I'm gonna show you another one I did. This one will also be at the wedding, and this one's a little bit different. I used a pale pink ostrich feather and used these kind of little pearl uh, sticky majiggers on this, this pink one. Some totally dazzle bling here, but I, I gave it the same effect all the way down the ribbing of here. And then I made this one earlier, which it's, it's actually identical to the one I just did. But, so there you go. I mean, you guys can't beat it, but imagine these sitting out at a beautiful wedding. So together, don't they look amazing? I just love them. So I made three. I think I have enough at three for the sign-in table. Um, but yeah, you guys can't beat it. So make sure you follow along. And I've got all kinds of stories about our yard transformation. And I'll be going live from the wedding to show you guys everything. So you love the pink and pearl. I know pink and pearl is like my favorite. So I'm going to have these three out at the wedding at the guest table sign-in. So, but that's how stinking easy it is. For just a couple bucks, you can, you know, you can make an amazing decoration on a budget with some totally dazzled bling, some ostrich feathers. You can pick these up at Hobby Lobby or Amazon. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys had, have an amazing rest of your weekend. Enjoy watching the rest of the presenters here in the, or the Southern Crush Summer Craft-a-thon. It's an amazing two-day event tons of great speakers yesterday and more to come today. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my little take here on how to make an elegant wedding pen for your wedding. You guys, or make a great wedding gift too. So you guys are awesome. Sparkle on and the link to watch the other presenters is up in the video description. So make sure you go and join. They're giving away lots of prizes and it's going to be great. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Sunday and enjoy the rest of the show. Bye.